Abdullah's father used to go to the mosque every day to perform the Isha prayer in congregation. Today, he said to Abdullah, Abdullah, my son, you are now 10 years old. You should also join me in praying at the mosque. And from now on, you should make a commitment to pray on your own and try to pray the obligatory prayers in congregation. Abdullah replied, Sure, Dad. Let me finish this game on my phone, and then I'll come with you. Abdullah's father went to pray, but Abdullah kept playing on his phone. And by the time he finished, the congregation prayer had already started. Abdullah's grandmother was observing all of his actions. When his father returned after the prayer and noticed Abdullah's behavior, he became quite upset. He said, Abdullah, you take your sweet time with your game and you miss the prayer. Do you know the importance of prayer? Abdullah, feeling guilty, replied, Sorry, Dad, I didn't realize. But what's the big deal about missing one prayer? His father explained, Prayer is essential under all circumstances, and neglecting it earns us great sin. If you ever face difficulty in these matters in the future, don't hesitate to talk to me. Now, let's talk about the significance of prayer. After dinner, Abdullah and the other children gathered in their grandmother's room and requested her to tell them a story. Grandmother said, Today's story is about the importance of prayer. The children asked, What is prayer? The grandmother answered, Prayer is an act of worship that Allah has made obligatory for every Muslim, male and female. What are the children asked? What does obligatory mean? Javeria explained, Obligatory means an action that cannot be abandoned under any circumstances. Grandmother continued, MashaAllah, my dear children, you already know so much. The performance of obligatory prayers is mandatory, and if someone deliberately abandons it, they commit a sin. On the Day of Judgment, that person will face severe consequences. She then recited a verse from the Qur'an. O oh, you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. Grandmother emphasized, If you ever need help, turn to Allah through patience and prayer, and never abandon prayer under any circumstances. Grandmother further explained, Prayer is Allah's most beloved act, and He has repeatedly mentioned it in the Qur'an. Allah says, Establish the prayer for my remembrance. She recited another verse, And establish the prayer and give the zakah and bow with those who bow. Grandmother concluded, Prophet Muhammad wasallam advised not to deliberately abandon the prayer. He said, the difference between a person and a disbeliever is the abandonment of prayer. She continued, Praying on time is also crucial. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The most beloved deed to Allah is to pray at its fixed time. Grandmother shared a saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Do not intentionally neglect a prescribed prayer. For one who intentionally neglects the prescribed prayer will find no share in Allah's protection. Grandmother added, Allah is pleased with those who establish prayer and He showers His special mercy on them. Therefore, it is essential for each one of you to take care of your prayers and never abandon them. Remember thanking Allah for His blessings, especially through prayer, is the best way to show gratitude. Dear children, Allah has blessed us with numerous favors. The entire universe and all the blessings we receive are created by Allah. To express our gratitude and seek His help in every aspect of life, we must prioritize and perform our prayers regularly. 
Allah has prescribed prayers as a means of remembering Him and seeking His guidance. Let's strive to establish and maintain our prayers, even in challenging situations, and be grateful for this incredible gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.